On March 31st, hundreds of protesters gathered outside Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksha's residence in Colombo. Many in the crowd were holding posters with anti-government slogans and were chanting Gota go home in Sinhala. The protesters demanded that the government step down immediately for mishandling the country's economy. A day after, President Rajapaksha declared a state of emergency. Sri Lanka is witnessing its worst economic crisis since independence. The island nation had announced a nationwide 13-hour daily power cut from March 31st. There is an acute shortage of food, fuel and cooking gas. Several hospitals have had to suspend routine surgeries as they have run out of life-saving medicines. Authorities had to cancel examinations for millions of students due to a shortage of paper. During the first wave of the pandemic, thousands of Sri Lankan labourers working in several West Asian countries were forced to return home. The pandemic meant that the garment factories and tea estates in Sri Lanka could not function. All the key foreign exchange earning sectors such as exports, remittances, tourism were brutally hit. In response, the government adopted various policy decisions that were widely deemed ill-advised. Like the last year's blanket ban on chemical fertilizers that crippled the agricultural sector. The Russia-Ukraine war has also added to the country's problems. Sri Lanka is dependent on the two countries for tourism and exports. It also imports almost half of its wheat and sunflower oil from them. In August 2021, the government declared emergency regulations for the distribution of essential food items to save dollars. This led to consequent market irregularities and reported hoarding. By the end of 2021, the country's foreign reserves plummeted to $1.6 billion. The country's foreign reserves stood at $2.31 billion at the end of February. Sri Lanka has to repay foreign debt totaling nearly $7 billion this year. President Rajapaksha recently said that the country will incur an import bill of $22 billion this year, resulting in a trade deficit of $10 billion. The country is in talks with the International Monetary Fund for possible loan assistance. India has extended assistance totaling $2.4 billion. This includes a $400 million RBI currency swap, a $500 million loan deferment and credit lines for importing food, fuel and medicines. China is also considering a fresh request from Colombo for $2.5 billion in assistance. Experts say that Sri Lanka's recovery will neither be fast nor easy.